Hi, I'm Danny with BuyTwoWayRadios.com. In this video, we're going to be unboxing a Baofeng UV5R two-way radio. This is a very popular radio with amateur radio operators, primarily because it is a great value. It's a low price radio that offers a lot of functionality. This is a dual band radio operating on UHF and VHF, or two meters, 70 centimeters. And it is a five watt radio with support for up to 128 channels. It also is fully programmable from the keypad and can also be programmed through the PC with an optional programming cable. Um, without further ado, let's open the box and take a look at this radio. Okay, let's open this box and take a look at what's included with this Baofeng UV5R. Um, I'm going to sit the parts out and let you guys get a good look at everything and then we're going to turn the radio on and I'll walk you through a few of the functions. Um, First of all, we have a user's manual. Here's the radio. Belt clip. This belt clip actually screws on to the back of the radio. This is an included 1800 milliamp battery. It has a, a very good battery life, I, I believe around 14, 15 hours. There's also a 3800 milliamp battery available as well. This is the dual band UHF VHF rubber duct style antenna. It's an SMA female connector. Very unusual that at this price, this radio includes a headset as well. These headsets normally go for five to ten bucks at least, so um, makes this an even better value. Charger base, AC adapter, the charger base, and even a lanyard. This manual is pretty much worthless. Um, it doesn't tell you how to program the radio. It doesn't tell you much beyond you know, what's included with the radio and how to screw the antenna on. There's a great manual that was written by someone, a member of the amateur community, and uh, he did a great job. It's around 70 pages. Check our website at buy2wayradios.com. Our Baofeng UV5R page has a link to his manual it's uh, a thousand times better than this one. Um, I'm going to put the battery on the radio. It just sits on the back and slides on. If you wanted to use the belt clip, you have to remove these two screws and then this sits right there. There's also a leather case available for this radio. I'm not going to use the belt clip today. Um, right here you see the loop for connecting the lanyard if you wanted to do that. And the antenna, the antenna screws right here. This is the finished product. Um, Let's show you the battery charger. The AC adapter plugs in here. This is an indicator light that's red when the radio is charging. It turns green once the radio has fully charged. You'll also notice there's uh, two slots in the back that slide into this groove on the side of the battery. When you're charging the radio, you want to make sure that these slots fit into those grooves so that the connectors touch and the radio charges. The radio will sit in the charger without clipping in place, so you, you want to make sure it's completely to the back um, to make sure you're charging. The light turning on will also indicate that the radio is charging. 
the connector for this is a standard Kenwood two pin connector. You may see it referred to online as a K1 or a KW1 style connector. It's two pins and it plugs into the side of the Baofeng UV5R right here. The, the good news is with it using a standard Kenwood connector, there are a lot of accessories available right, uh, right away that work with this radio. So if you're not happy with this style of earpiece, you won't have any trouble finding something else that'll work. Um, I've heard from a few people that there are some aftermarket accessories that have a larger surface area than, than this uh, sort of indented square area here on the radio. If you buy something that's a little too large to fit in here, you may end up having to, to shave a little plastic off uh, to get it to fit tightly, but there's usually nothing wrong with doing that. If you're not using an accessory, you want to make sure this port cover is closed you don't want to get water in there. Um, I'm going to turn the radio on and give you a, just a short walkthrough of some of the common features that you're going to use on this radio. If I have any battery. Frequency mode. Right out of the gate, the radio announces it's in frequency mode. Frequency mode means that you can input a frequency directly from the keypad at this point. And uh, I'll put our local NOAA weather frequency in here to give you a demo. I think it's one sixty two. Four two five. Let's see if I got that right. There we go. I'll turn it down. One thing you see right away is what looks like a signal strength indicator on the display. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, that just indicates that it's receiving a signal right now. That's not really telling you it's a strong signal. That icon is either off or on. You will not see uh, one bar or two bars. It's, it's just letting you know it's receiving a frequency. You're also going to see on the display, there's the 162.425, which is our uh, local NOAA frequency here. But uh, there's another UHF frequency here. This radio's display will show you two frequencies at once. And you can use the A, B button right here to switch from monitoring one or the other. So that's an easy way to go from uh, you know, two frequencies that you want to monitor pretty quickly. To go from frequency mode into channel mode, you can press channel mode. the big orange button right here, uh, VFO slash MR. Now in channel mode, I'm going to use the preset channels that are built into the radio. There's 128 of them, 128 channel banks, I guess I should say, and you can use the programming software to put any frequencies you want into any of those channel banks. Um, you can use the up and down Three, arrows here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, zero. And you see here, I'm just flipping through the channels, one through ten. It has voice announce on this radio and you can switch it between Chinese and English if you want to do that. Um, also, uh, let's see, if you press the call button on the side, it's going to switch it to FM radio. So there's a standard FM radio built into uh, the UV5R. Also, there's a flashlight on top. If you press the button on the side here, one press turns the LED flashlight on. It's not very bright, but it might come in handy every now and then. A second press turns it into strobe mode. Third press, and it's off. There are a lot of functions on this radio. I'm not going to go through them all. I'll, I'll quickly uh, take you through the menu, and then... Uh, We'll end it there. Menu. Pressing the menu key takes you into the menu. Then you can use the up or down arrows to scroll through the options. Squelch, you can set the step on this radio down to 2.5. Has Vox mode, supports wide or narrow band. Uh, turn key beeps on and off. 
straight through the keypad, you can change the receive and transmit tones, CTCSS or DCS. Uh, this is the voice prompt, English or Chinese. Now, also, it's a very helpful uh, menu. When you press menu to indicate you want to change a setting, menu. it will give you a description of the setting. It's a very short description most of the time. Voice prompt. See, now it, it tells me I'm in the voice prompt area and I can go from English to Chinese to off. Confirm. Menu again confirms. You can change the welcome message on the radio. Lots of options. I think I mentioned before, th this radio can be fully programmed directly through the keypad. Um, but it would be much easier to use PC programming. There's a, a great open source tool called Chirp. Uh, the Chirp software is available for several operating systems, Mac, Windows, I believe there's a Linux version. And through Chirp, you can enter your frequencies and write them directly to the radio. If you use uh, Chirp, then you're gonna need a programming cable and programming software. We actually um, sell a kit on our website that includes this uh, driver disk and the Chirp software. Um, and this is included for free when you buy a programming cable through us. The programming cable is USB. Um, the drivers on some operating systems might be kind of uh, a pain to install, but uh, we have instructions on the disk, or of course you can give us a call if you have any questions. This has been the unboxing of the Baofeng UV5R two-way radio. I hope this video has been very helpful. If you have any questions about the Baofeng UV5R, don't hesitate to give us a call at 1-800-584-1445 or enter our live chat Monday through Friday from 8 to 6 p.m. Eastern on our website at www.buy2waywradios.com. I'm Danny, and thanks for watching.